my name is Sadie Estrella, and I'm going to talk to you about a 10-minute um, routine that I started three years ago. And basically, it's changed the attitudes of my students towards mathematics. So, um, <laughs> uh, sorry, the golden ticket. It's basically having an event that occurs on a daily basis um, over a long period of time, or what we also know as classroom routines. Um, we all have them in our classroom, uh, attendance, lunch lineup, whatever it is. Uh, routines build structure for kids, right? So there's all these things they know what's going to happen. It gives them a sense of, um, uh, of what to expect. So uh, it leads, the, the structure leads to the safe environment, and it allows them to um, take risks in your classroom. They're able to make mistakes without, uh, sorry, without um, the fear of being wrong. So um, this, this also builds a community of learners. Learners that are, uh, sorry, they participate in their own learning, basically. They um, want to do it. They're into it. Um, so we come to this counting circle routine that I've come up with, uh, kind of come up with. Um, and it, I'm just amazed at how much it's done for my students and just how much they've changed in interacting with mathematics. So um, I introduce it like it's a sports team, right? So we can't laugh at each other's mistakes. We support each other. We don't do their work. We um, give them time to learn, right? So this whole sports team thing is, is important. So we start by, they kind of wait for me to tell them, what are we counting up or down? What are we counting by? And then um, what are we starting at? Um, and then we kind of move on from there. So the visual is the number line. I draw the number line on the board, and that gives them a second. And then we start counting around the circle. And yes, we do count in a circle, and they're sitting in a circle. Um, the number lines help with the prediction part of the, of the uh, counting circle. So we'll count in the circle. I say we stop on somebody, so we stop on Sarah. And I say, OK, um, we're going to predict what number Joseph's going to say or the seventh person down the line. And sometimes I have to ask them questions like this. What is the mistake? Because basically, if you look at that mistake up there, this is a great reason of why I do counting circles. So when they're ready, we have them share their answers. They share all answers. All answers are honored. And um, basically, they all go up because it's important to hear their voices. It's empowering for them to see their answers and hear their voices and what, what they did. So these are some strategies that the kids did. And I want you, as these slides go by, I want you to think about a couple questions. How does this change classroom culture? How does this create a student-centered classroom? How does this foster students' thinking and honor their thoughts? How might this address common core standards? How might this routine help with practice standards? How does this routine meet a variety of students' needs? How does this make students feel successful with mathematics? Does this routine seem daunting? Do you see yourself trying this routine? Basically, after the strategies, wait, hold on. <laughs> after the strategies are shared, the routine is done. OK? So pretty much this routine drives me to stop the blame game. I'm done blaming everyone else. I'm going to do something about it. I cannot live with myself if kids pass my class or graduate not being able to do basic operations in their head. Um, it's equivalent to students graduating without being able to read. I can't let it happen anymore. I'm not going to allow it to happen anymore. So what this does is what, it focuses on what they can do. We don't look at what they can't. We build off of their successes. And it captures them. It keeps them wanting to do math, even when it gets to hard stuff like fractions, decimals, and even variables. So what is 10 minutes? It's a sixth of, a, of, a, of an hour, right? This routine is not demanding. It takes a whiteboard, 10 minutes of your classroom time, five minutes of prep time, some facilitation time, and you'll see changes in confidence with kids doing math all together. And honestly, you can afford to do this routine. <laughs>